For a man who'd a terrible October, November looks a little brighter for Donald Trump. Buoyed by a lift in the polls thanks to his opponent's email troubles, he's convinced that in just under a week he'll be elected the next president of the United States. We're leading, and I think we're leading big, and I think on November 8th it'll even be bigger. A few national polls put him slightly ahead of Hillary Clinton, but he's still behind in some key swing states, and if he can't win them, he can't win the White House. Hillary Clinton has turned her attention back to the topic which has damaged Trump the most, his treatment of women. We know what the tape about Donald Trump said. We know that he said some terrible things about what he does to women. I'm not going to repeat it, but bragging about treating women like that is not the message we want either our little girls or our little boys to hear. In Ohio, President Barack Obama was back campaigning and back hammering the Republican candidate. Donald Trump is uniquely unqualified to be president. He is temperamentally unfit to be commander in chief. Don't take my word for it. Take the word of a lot of the Republicans who were saying this before they decided politically that it was convenient to support him. Earlier in the day, Trump ripped into Obama's signature health care act, Obamacare, as it's commonly known. With people in almost 40 states facing steep rises in premiums, Trump promised within days of taking office he would kill it. I will ask Congress to convene a special session so we can repeal and replace. And it will be such an honor for me, for you, and for everybody in this country, because Obamacare has to be replaced. Donald Trump moves from his tour of Democratic-leaning states to more familiar territory. He'll be campaigning in Florida on Wednesday, win that state, and the presidential race is wide open. The polls give him a slight lead there, but in this extraordinary campaign, neither he nor his rival are taking anything for granted in the closing days. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, with the Trump campaign in Wisconsin.